And so I'd like to share with you some thoughts today about this concept of leadership and service and the magic of how to create that. And the, the, the thoughts that I'll share with you today really are not limited to a large organization. I'm not up here to say if you don't do it the Disney way, you don't have a chance. That's ridiculous. But what I am up here to share with you are things that we did that related to this concept of magic, which in reality, there really is no magic. It's all about doing the ordinary in an amazing fashion every single day. But I'd like you to think about how you can transfer some of these things to internal employees, your internal customers, who I think are the most important members, because what they receive is what they're going to send to the members that you already have at your credit union or potential future members. Let me just reinforce this concept of good show versus bad show with a little story. One of the ways that we would reinforce this concept at Disneyland and Disney World was when we would have our new hires come to the Disney University, the division I was in charge of. We would have 80 to 90 new hires every Saturday during busy, busy hiring seasons, like right now before summer. And I would say to the new hires, or my staff would say to the new hires, welcome to Disneyland, home of the fighting mice. And they'd look around and say, what are you talking about? We'd say, we're Disney, we're, we're the fighting mice, get on the team. It's tough to work here, it's fun to work here, it's all of the above. But you know one of the things that we can't forget? One of the things that we cannot forget is that guests spend a lot of money to come here to have a good time. So here is a story that we would share with our new hires to reinforce the idea of good show. Our standard demographic family was a mom and a dad and 2.5 kids. And generally, those 2.5 kids have found out several months earlier that they were going to go to Disneyland during spring break or Christmas break or summer break. And for the last few months, they have been going absolutely crazy because they're so excited. <gasps> Mommy, Daddy, we're so excited. We're going to get to go to Disneyland. And we really, really want to meet Snow White. We're going to get her autograph and her photograph. Yap, 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 yap for months. Mom and dad drive all the way across the country. Yap, 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 yap. They pay the exorbitant fee to get into the parking lot. They pay the even more exorbitant fee to get a ticket. Remember Jim talked about price points not an issue with some companies? And then mom and dad are saying, get out of our hair and go find Snow White. And they're looking around and they see her at the end of Main Street down by the castle. And she looks absolutely beautiful. So they make a beeline to Snow White, and they break out their pens and pencils and paper and say, Snow White, can we get your autograph? We love you. She doesn't respond. So they tug on her cape. Please, Snow White, we love you. What the kids don't realize, now this story never actually happened. I just want you to know that up front. What the kids don't realize is that Snow White's already had a bad day, and it's only 9 a.m., the seven dwarfs haven't shown up to work yet, so she's in a foul mood. And so she spins around on her heel. She has her wig pushed back on her head. She's got a big cigarette hanging out of her mouth. And she says, what do you want? Can't you see that I'm busy? Instantaneously, what has happened to the relationship, as Jim would say, between Cinderella or Snow White or any of our cast members and those 2.5 kids? What do you think mom and dad are thinking right now? Do you think mom and dad observing this are thinking, Oh, what a great company. All the rides are up and running. And I know that last night on the graveyard crew, an army of custodians came out and polished every single brass rail. You could eat off of the bathroom floor and not get an infection or a disease because it's so incredibly clean. What a great place. Of course not. Mom and Dad are really upset because they have seen before their very eyes the transformation of Snow White from a beautiful being into a truck driver. And there's nothing wrong with truck drivers, they just shouldn't look like Snow White. And that's the key, that was our key mantra for our new hires, for our executives. Every, every nook and cranny of the company knew that Snow White could never have a bad day. And that, quite frankly, was our competitive edge, at least as far as our paying customers were concerned. They knew that when they came to the park, you were gonna come into contact with friendly employees and rides that were more often than not up and running. And it was a combination of the art and the science, the balance of product that was doing what it was supposed to be doing and people who are friendly, approachable, and knowledgeable. That's it. That's the magic of exceptional service leadership and longevity.